through. What you see behind me here is one of the most astonishing images NASA has ever developed. What may appear to some as a bunch of stars scattered throughout turns out to be approximately 15,000 galaxies distributed in time and space. Every speck, spot, or spiral you see, with the exception of a few, is a galaxy. Now, if that doesn't open your mind to possibilities, I don't know what will. If that doesn't get you thinking about the future and becoming inhabitants of Mars and ultimately the planets of other stars, again, I don't know what will. Of course, when looking at all these galaxies at once, it does make one feel small. And it does point out that our science is still in its infancy. But for me, that motivates me all the more. Think of the adventures and all there is to still learn. That's pretty exciting. Plus, we are beyond our first steps. We have walked on the moon, we are beginning to master genetics, and many smart people are discussing colonies on Mars. And of course, with advanced technologies such as Hubble Space Telescope, we have the ability to build an amazing mosaic like this, showing a small fraction of the galaxies in the universe. Images like these allow the human spirit to dream big. So how big can we dream? Well, as we said, the image behind me has approximately 15,000 galaxies, which could sound like a lot, but the observable universe is estimated to have 200 billion to 2 trillion galaxies. As far as stars in the universe, I've seen many similar estimates using 100 billion stars per galaxy to obtain 1 billion trillion stars, also referred to as 1 sextillion, or in scientific notation, 10 to the 21st power stars. To even think bigger, astronomers tend to believe, as a rule, planets orbit stars, essentially saying our solar system is not unique. You can find more out about this by watching this video. Do aliens exist or are we alone? To put some perspective on the size and scale of the universe, or more specifically, the number of rocky planets in the universe, let's relate the worldometer and the number of humans on Earth to the total of rocky planets. If we round up the 7,875,465,000 people up to 8 billion humans on Earth, and if we make a giant assumption, and I know it's a giant assumption, that the planets around the stars are in that Earth-like zone, then if we went to the planets, assuming we could, and we put a human on one planet per star system, we would cover 0%. Yes, 0%. 0% of humans would be standing on a planet compared to or divided by the number of planets that exist. This turns out to be 8 times 10 to the negative 12. Essentially, if you put all the planets in a hat, you'd have a 0% chance of randomly choosing a planet from the hat that had a human on it. If we take a more prevalent species, such as ants, with an estimated quadrillion of them, the proportion planets that have an ant on it divided by planets is still zero, or 10 to the negative six. I have also heard it put this way. If there are over a hundred billion trillion planets, and you had to just count one of those trillions by hand at, say, one planet per second, it would take you 31,688 years to count. 
That one trillion that we considered counting is equivalent to the Andromeda galaxy, the little hazy smudge of a galaxy we can see in the sky with an unaided eye. So, the universe is grand, and the grand scale of the universe tells us two things. First, we have a lot of work to do so that humans can become relevant in the universe. Second, what is the probability that there is intelligent life equal to or more intelligent than our own somewhere in this vast universe? Again, we discussed this idea pretty thoroughly in the video, Do Aliens Exist or Are We Alone? Don't forget to click on it at the end of this video. Now it's true that we humans have hardly left our cradle called Earth. But in our blood, we are pioneers, visionaries, and big dreamers. So the next time you're outside and look up at the vast night sky, don't think about how small you are, think about how big you can dream. Hey, Alien Institute crew. Don't forget to strike the like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also, continue learning by watching more AI videos.